So the plan today is to get up nice and early, go on a little walk and get some 360 pictures but also kind of film what I was doing and make a YouTube video or something for Instagram or dare I say TikTok. So the trains are cancelled. Although you can hear the running now. But I finally made it to Wimbledon and the underground was cancelled. Our oh, Wimbledon and there's lots of people standing on the on the platform in disbelief. <laughs> so I'm now walking to Wimbledon Park, which is only about a mile. Um, but the plan today is to walk section six of the capital ring. Uh, it was a really nice walk worth doing from Wimbledon Park to Richmond. Lots of nice things to see away. See how it goes. The idea is to get a bit more fit, be a bit more active. So I started off the day off with a sausage roll and a coffee from Greg's. Park, and if you've ever queued up for the tennis, you know exactly where I am. I kind of made a good decision about shoes today, I think. It's very wet. Uh, we are doing section six, capital ring. We, as in I, you and me, maybe. So, I guess Wimbledon Park here, and heads across Wimbledon Common, across Richmond Park. Richmond. Uh, the whole point of this really is to kind of document a little bit what I do with my 360 photography and the kind of walking I've been doing for the last sort of year and a half, two years. So a little bit of background. I've been I've been taking I've been doing 360 photos on Instagram under London in 360 pretty much since the start of 2020. Obviously kind of world closed and had to kind of pivot a little bit. But now we're kind of out and about photographing as much as we can. I'm kind of using the GoJauntly app which hopefully means I won't actually get lost. Where I'm walking right now because so I think I've got to go straight across but I have a little look yeah we're heading to the road somewhere there yeah um, the camera I'm using I'm using the Insta 360 One X One I've also got a DJI Pocket 2 which I did a couple of time lapse motion lapse uh, Wimbledon Wimbledon Park Lake or pond or a pond Oh, I've got a little drone in my pocket, which we, my bag, which we might bring out. And I've got the Insta360 Go 2, uh, which is a tiny little camera. So I'm capturing, trying to capture a few things in a few different ways uh, on this, just this, this little, uh, little stroll. So you can probably hear or see the road. I am sort of halfway between Wimbledon Common and Putney Common or even Putney Heath which is just down that way for me this is where this this walk sort of starts getting interesting uh, as we head towards the uh, Wimbledon windmill 
but we can still hear the road it gets a bit quieter this walk um, but it's just a lovely little little stroll down this bit I might go to high collapse mode before we do that I'll take a shot of this tree Just passing out over a golf course and on the Go Jauntly app there's a marker and just says look at this amazing tree and here we are looks pretty old to me I wonder if we can put you inside and have a look just a tiny bit off the path so I just can't kind of distracted by this war memorial the way that it's lit up it's sort of I mean it's nearly midday but you know, winter light and I think it'll make a good 360 so we'll give it a go we'll do the video first extend this out
we have now left the London borough of Merton and we're heading into the Royal Borough of Richmond. Just heading over some playing fields. Oh, lovely. As well. So this is this is the end of kind of the Wimbledon and Putney common leg of the, of the walk. And uh, things really crank up a bit as we head into Richmond Park. Well, so still me and the dog walkers. Yeah. And, uh, not much of anybody else really. Just got a busy road to cross over. <laughs> I suppose it is sort of lunchtime on a Tuesday, so I shouldn't be too surprised. Um, it is lovely and quiet. I kind of, I did this walk before, and I did stray off the actual path because I used to get distracted by deer and <laughs> interesting looking trees and things like that. But we'll see how we get on. So, wow, probably won't be flying any older. Oh, ton of deer just sitting in the sun over there take a little closer look I think so I've reached the point of day where I have to charge my phone up and I thought I'd just do a little sit down this long and do a little 10 minute time lapse of these deer and to be honest I'm probably way too far away Probably won't be that interesting, but to be honest, I'm just enjoying sitting here. It's just nice and quiet. Just left the deer in the corner of Spankers Hill Wood, and there's some cool little trees. I used to come here as a kid. an interesting shot. Let's have a look. So we're heading towards the pen ponds, but ahead of me, we need to make a very important stop. It's now one o'clock. I think I can smell bacon sandwiches. Sort of wafts in this little, little valley. They are very good. Probably overpriced, uh, but very good. Cheers, mate. Fantastic. That's a nice bit of cloud in the sky. 
so we might get lucky. Get a couple of nice shots. Something is going on down there. Anyway. And let's we go. So I had to kind of walk around a rather muddy path around the lower pond. Which I've never been, it's quite nice. And look, there's like a little heron. Heron? Heron? There. The shot I wanted to get was right in between the two ponds, and it's quite nice. Uh, I'm going to try a shot here, which isn't going to be as good, and we've got the sun in the wrong spot, but we'll give it a go. completely off track now but I think where I have to go is down here somewhere get back on the on the path but it's so nice up here I'm just walking up here this apparently I'm in between two plantations uh, so I'm gonna go and have a look See, I'm getting distracted now by all these, these cool, look at these kind of twisted, disfigured sort of trees that have been cut down. I mean, this is ancient woodland. Let's listen to that. Fantastic. Anyway, I'm gonna try and get a shot of these. Low. I'm almost taking my time so the sun can come down a little bit lower and get some nice shots as we get into Richmond. Let me see. I think I just found a really nice spot for a, a little time lapse. Motion lapse, so it's a time lapse with a little bit of movement in it. The sun's coming down quite nicely now. It's in and out, the light. You can see the two pen ponds down there. And the light here is it's just fantastic. It keeps changing. I'm all set up here. <laughs> see my camera and my DJI Pocket 2. All set up. 
Let's do a quick 10 minute. just occurred to me that I haven't actually seen a capsule ring sign in a quite a while. I have kind of steered completely of course. I think I might be back in the right direction. I'm kind of heading towards a nice viewpoint over, over Richmond. And the sun is just coming down just where I want it. But I think it might be <laughs> Might be the view, might be a bit early for the sunset, but we'll see. I think I'm back on track, I think I'm heading back in the right direction. But I've taken some nice diversions anyway, this really quite ancient woodland. I mean, it's lovely and quiet as well. Anyway, we'll carry on. Just walk in towards King Henry's Mount, which is a protective viewpoint. And I mean, it is a stunning viewpoint. Kind of scenic views are a bit hard to capture it. It's a 360 tiny planet or something, everything sort of disappears um, into the, onto the horizon. And really, with a 360, it's about what's right in front of you. I still appreciate the view we have here, even with the sun directly in our face. <laughs> trying to find a suitable point for the time lapse, I think. They're in the shade. I might try a little 360. Richmond along by the river but as I'm cutting heading down this little hillside just the main road it kind of feels it was like the end of the walk um, so I think it'd be a nice 
Nice white place to stop my commentary at least. Uh, and maybe let you just enjoy. Maybe I'll get a couple of scenic shots just as the sun goes down over the river. Thank you. 